here, right? And we actually just make them left aligned. I mean, the variance is equal to, well, it's equal to the sum of the f's times the, the sum of the f's times the m minus the x bar squared. It's this divided by the sum of the f's, the sum of the f's minus one. Okay, so in this case, we have our variance of 550. And you can see that the standard deviation by definition is just the square root of the variance. So in this case here, the sample standard deviation, the standard, the standard deviation, okay, the standard deviation, let me do that again, deviation, okay, and uh, Okay, let me just move this across. Let me make that a little bigger here. Okay. The standard uh, deviation is equal to the square root of the variance. So it's equal to SQRT of the variance of this particular value here. Okay, so our standard deviation is 23.43. Okay. So really what we're saying here is that in this particular case, for these particular exam grades, uh, we have that the average exam grade is 55. The variance is 551, okay? And the standard deviation is approximately 23%, okay? If that makes sense. So guys, I really should change this here, okay? Instead of that, I should rename this to be calculating, calculating the mean. Well, I should really, maybe I'll just write it up here, okay? Uh, let's say here, this is, this video is all about calculating, calculating the mean. Oh, calculating the mean variance variance okay and standard standard deviation deviation okay, of a data sample of a sample of observations observations okay. so that's really what we're doing here in this particular video let me left align that and let me make a bold and underline it okay that's what this basic video was all about, yeah? Was about using these formulas here to calculate some basic statistics. In this case, we're calculating the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation, okay? Uh, we don't have to use M, we could say that this is X, okay? Uh, but this, it's just symbols, this becomes F of X, this becomes, I suppose, it's X, it's X, X minus X bar, uh, this here is X minus X bar squared, uh, and this here is, is x minus x bar uh, f times x minus x bar squared i don't know why we don't actually maybe i should actually use formulas really for these here yeah okay i don't know what does it can i put in a formula handy enough here insert insert an equation will the equation stay in the cell okay i don't know mm, it doesn't really stay in the cell but from an equation perspective i suppose this would be this would be equal to x x minus yeah, maybe that's a little bit better than what we actually have here. So x minus, let's put this in here, uh, x bar, okay, and gives us something like this. So maybe actually that's a lot better than actually, it is a lot better than, than using this particular notation here. So maybe I'll actually change this equation here to be, it's it's m minus x bar, okay? And let's just put that up there where it should be, okay? So maybe I can make that bold as well so that actually blends in. And here I could put in another equation, yeah, just so that you can actually see, because it's some this notation is a little bit trickier to understand. Uh, let's say insert, whoops, insert another equation, okay? Here's our equation here, and I'm gonna say that this is, well, I need a square this time, okay? Because I'm calculating the squares, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be doing to m minus, and once again it's x bar, so I need to put in an ascent, they're called. Okay, so I need to put in an ascent, an ascent x. And let me just grab that here and pull that up to here. Okay, there we go. And maybe I'll make that bold. Brilliant. And then finally, well, I suppose let me just copy this equation here, control C, and let me get rid of this one. Okay, and let me just put that equation in here. Oh. Let me just do it again. Control C. There we go. But this time it's going to be prepended by an F, yeah. And this gives us some a little bit more, a little bit more user friendly, I suppose, yeah. Rather than what we had a moment ago, okay. But this time we're using the we're using the equation editor. What happened to my values here? Hmm. Oh, look what happened, yeah. Let me say this is equal to this value here times this value here, and now that's filled with true correctly. I think that looks a little bit better with using 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 the formula, inserting inserting the actual the actual values. Should be able to do that. It'd be nice if we could actually do that within the cells themselves within Excel. Maybe someone has a solution. It'd be nice if I could put in and then say I want an X bar in here, yeah, and I can actually just put it into my cells, but that seems I don't know whether they've solved that problem. 
And maybe someone can leave that uh, answer to that in the comments. Okay, guys, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and I hope that this video was intuitive. And more importantly, I hope that was helpful for you. So thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.